and gentlemen, welcome to the timeless magic of Xanadu, where fantasy becomes reality and reality becomes fantasy. From the rock capital of Australia, on 188 stations across the nation, tonight, Olivia Newton-John invites you to join us at Chasers Disco Melbourne for the grand final of the Countdown Xanadu National Dance Contest. Come on, let's go dancing.
And now, here's the generator of Xanadu, Mr. Ian Molly Meldrum. Hey, woo! Hey! Oh! Do you love it? Do you love it? Oh, do you love it? I'll tell you what, here it is, the Xanadu National Grand Final, and over the last two months, major radio stations and Countdown have invited the entire of Australia to dance to the Countdown Xanadu National Contest. It's been open to all ages, but closed to professionals, all right? But tonight is the grand final. You enjoying it? Hey, come on. All right. The contest, the contest was inspired by the magical fantasy Xanadu, right? So we're about to bring you fantasy to become reality. Here she is, the star of Xanadu, the girl I love, and I'm sure you do too, Miss Olivia Newton-John. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Hey, oh, welcome to the show. Oh. It's great to have her back, I'll tell you what. All right, I'll tell you what, uh, you've been seeing the rehearsals today and there's been so many forms of dancing in this, in this contest because we invite them to do this and that and the standard has been just amazing. What's your favourite form of dancing? I like everything actually and that first dance routine was fantastic. Yeah, they are incredible, aren't Fabulous. they? All right, I'll tell you what, um, there's been sort of so much versatility within the show itself, right? You know, it's sort of like you've got people roller skating all over the place in Australia, tap dancing and everything else, but you do it all in one film. I know. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> you and Jen Kelly. Do you want to have a look at it again? I'd love to. I tell you what, we're going to have a look at some little shots from Xanadu right now. Let's have a look at them. I can't stop kissing her. How many of you fellas want to kiss uh, this one? Oh, look at them. All right, listen, I'll tell you what. We've got to meet the judges that are going okay. to sort of make the final decision over all of the uh, state finalists tonight, right? Okay. So there's this guy that's got this big authoritative voice. His name's Gavin. He's with Countdown. Gavin, are you there? Yes, I am, Ian. Okay, will you intro the, the judges to us? Certainly, thank, thank you. Thank you, Gavin. Uh, the judges for the Countdown Xanadu National Dance Contest are the choreographer from the Don Lane Show, Mr. Tony Bartuccio. Hey. Secondly, Countdown's dance director, Mr. Sean Fitzgerald. And last but not least, the chairman of the judges panel, who has performed at three Royal Command performances in London and is also a producer and a choreographer, Mr. Joe Latona. Oh. And now it's back to Ian and Olivia. Well, there you go. Now's the time. Now is the test, right? Before we do this, both Olivia and I would like to wish everyone in the state finalists, the best of luck, all right? And they say in show business, break a leg, don't break a leg tonight, all right? Okay, the first are from New South Wales. Yes. And the first is Jill Carrigan. And Terry. And Terry Ada. Right. You took the words out of my mouth. I certainly did. Now, Jill, she wants to be what? A professional ballroom dancer? Gosh, that's a high ambition. Yes, it certainly is. And do you want to know what Terry does? Or what he wants to be? What does he want to be? He either wants to be a doctor or fly 747. That's a high ambition too. It certainly is a high ambition. If he's a disaster at both, I, well, you know, there you go. Anyway, I'll tell you what, do you want to intro them now? Yes, I would. All right. Uh, from in New South Wales, here are Jill Kerrigan and Terry Ada dancing to Michael Jackson's Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. Best of luck. You know, I was, I was wondering you know, if you could keep on because the force has got a lot of power and it makes me feel like it, it, it makes me feel like it.
Okay, that was uh, Jill and Kerry from New South Wales, and what a dance couple they are. Great. Now, listen, Levy, Quite I've got a surprise for you. Yeah? Because over in Adelaide, there's a good, very good friend of yours that you've worked with, right? Yes, yes. Now, it's not Ian Turpy or anyone like that from the Go Show days, all right? No, 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 nothing like that. Are you there, Adelaide? Is Adelaide? There he is there. there he is. Hello. Say hello to him. Hi. Adelaide Travolta. Hello. Hey, hello, mate. How are you? I'm fine. How are you, Liv? Good. <laughs> having a good time? I'm having a great time. What do you think of Australia? Oh, is, it's fantastic. Is it, like, is it like I told you it was? Everything. Fantastic, eh? They've been asking me about you all day. Oh, boring, huh? No, it's been great. <laughs> Listen, um... The press have been making this big thing about that you're really here to see me, but would you like to tell them why you're really here? Well, I'm here... Upset me, go on. What? I am here to see you. <laughs> yeah, oh, come on. <laughs> tell the truth. No, there's a, it's a combination of reasons. Now, I'm here because Urban Cowboy is opening. Yes. And I'm here because you're here. And I'm here because you've told me so much about Australia. And, and uh, it can be a lot of reasons, can it? Yeah, it is. Well, I think, I think your film is fantastic. I want to tell you that. And okay. for everyone who hasn't seen it, go see it. It's great. What would she like to work with, actually? A uh, dream. Really? Absolutely. I paid him you to say lucky that. devil. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that last number, right? Where she turns into the vamp, you know? I mean, that, what did you do to our Livy? I said, I got chills. <laughs> <laughs> OK, listen, let's have a look at Livy and John Travolta with You're the One. Here we go. <laughs> Travolta. Now listen, John, I've got to ask you one thing. I mean, like, how come Olivia can turn into a goddess in this film and you turn into a cowboy? Magic. It's magic? Oh, you say all the right things. <laughs> listen, I'll tell you what, um, it's time to go. Olivia, do you want to say goodbye to John? Bye-bye. I'll see you soon. All right, what are we going to do? Have a great time. What are we going to do tomorrow night? Oh, oh, would you not mention that on television, if you don't mind? <laughs> Where are we going? Um, I'm going to show you Melbourne. All the sides of Melbourne. And we're going to see your mum? Yeah, we'll see my mum. All right. All right. Okay. Well, listen, it's time to say goodbye. Listen, John, being a pretty hot dancer from Saturday Night Fever, you started all of this here. I'm, I, like, did you know that? After all that dancing, I mean, it brought everyone back into the discos and all of that, you know? Well, I'm supposed to be modest, so I... I... Well, be <laughs> modest, all right. Listen, there's one guy we've got over here from, uh, from Victoria who's in the uh, state finalist and he's about to dance for us for the grand final. Livy, what's his name? His name is Nicholas Deary, and he's going to dance to Love Attack by Ferrara. Okay, see you later, John. Bye, John. So long. Take over, Nick.
What's happening around here? You and John Travolta. <laughs> Nicholas Deary, I've had to take my coat off. Are you exhausted yet? Oh, I'm, I'm Well, we can't be because we've, got, no, we've only no, just no, started the show. Going. Okay, that was Nicholas Deary from Victoria. The next one up is all the way from the bottom, and that's from Tasmania. And her name is Sophie Hansis, and she's yes. still at school. Really? Yeah. And uh, she first started dancing just before Saturday Night Fever came out. And how much effect did Saturday Night Fever have over in America? Oh, a lot. It, it st everyone wore white suits. Yeah. And uh, a lot of discos opened up and everyone really started Did it bring them back to the dancing? dancing? It got couples together. That was right. the main thing. Well, actually, uh, she first started dancing to uh, Boogie Fever, uh -huh. right? And now she is the state finalist for, t for Tasmania. Great. She's still at school. She loves all forms of entertainment. And would you like to intro her? Yes, here is Sophie Hansis from Tasmania. Good luck. Ooh, whoa! Dance I mean, like, we're doing an outside broadcast on this one, and this is a sort of a pretty heavy disco, right, with all the heavy disco dancers, uh -huh. the chasers. And I'll tell you what, they haven't seen dancers like that. That's great. Oh, That's really that was good. Sophie from, from Tasmania. Right. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. What's that? When did you start learning to tap? Last, about last August. You lied. No, it's You've been doing truth. it for years. No, I haven't. Um, no? For, for the one number I did in the movie, I rehearsed a long time. We did it every day over and over and over, but I don't even be learning for a couple of months. All so. right. Just shows you anyone can. No, actually, I mean, like the way you dance with Gene Kelly, and at the end of the show you do a, dan a tap dance yeah. number, with the, which is the finale. I mean, you do so many dances. There's a cowboy thing. That was the John Travolta bit, I guess. Right. Okay, listen, we're getting the wind up. <laughs> okay. okay, look, I tell you what. Talking about tapping, mm -hmm. the next contestant is from Victoria. Her name's Debbie. She's the youngest uh, contestant in the in the in the whole thing for the state finals, right? Yeah. And she's been yeah. tapping for two years, right? And. Uh, She's a terrific little girl, and if you'd like to sort of intro her, because she's intro, she's actually dancing to your song, really. Oh, yes. Okay. Here is 13-year-old Deborah Brown from Victoria tapping to Xanadu. Go, Debbie! we 
Okay, that was Debbie Brown from Victoria, 13 years old. I tell you what, I was still trying to walk at 13 years old, let alone speak, and they still, the critics still say I can't talk, so there you go. All right, listen, uh, we're going to take a break now because uh, this is a very sort of uh, little part of the show. The dancer's going to have a breather because we've got one of the loveliest ladies to perform for us. She um, is going to sort of be judged by Bert Newton and sort of, you know, like the... Uh, all that team, right? They may give a 9 out of 10, I reckon, you know. Anyhow, here she is, and I love her. Olivia Newton-John with the number one American single. It's zooming up the British charts. It's all over the country. It's heading for number one. Here she is, Miss Olivia Newton-John with Magic.
I tell you what, Malcolm Fraser may think that sheep is the greatest export we've got in this country, but here she is. Wow, she's beautiful. Oh, oh I've got goosebumps. All right, listen, next... You're nice to me, you know that. I'm not nice to you, you sometimes. Nice to now, well, I'm not nice because, like, in actual fact, you don't really come from Melbourne. No. You were actually born in London, right? Yes. Well, the next two contestants actually have come from London as well, right? Oh, commies, a couple of commies. Yeah, the South Australian contestants, and there's a lot of people over there, and it's actually become the disco sort of capital of the world now because of their sort of, you know, that you... Well, I mean, don't start crying, Melbourne, for goodness sake, right? <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. Now, it's uh, Mark and Kim. Yes. And would you believe that Kim wants to be an air hostess? She's probably going to enjoy with the, uh, you know, 747. She's flying. <laughs> she but she wants pilot. to dance as well, so she's got a dancing hostess. And the other guy... Yeah is a student in industrial design, right? And he oh. wants to design the ultimate disco. So can you just I give have, Mark a few I have words? the place for him. I have the place for him. What's it called? Xanadu. Okay. Would you believe? <laughs> well, listen, they're about to dance for us. They're from South Australia. Come on, everybody. Good luck. Livy? Yes. Come on. Here we are. Oh, I missed it. This one? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're going to dance Moss for Moss and Mark Sharp dancing to Michael Jackson's Burn This Disco Out. Hey, Mark and Kim. <laughs> Kim and Mark, originally from London and now from South Australia, and I tell you what, they do South Australia proud. Oh, yeah. Now listen, I tell you what, everyone seems to be dancing to Michael Jackson or to Xanadu. I've noticed that tonight. Yeah. God, what do you think of Michael Jackson? I think he's brilliant. You know Michael Jackson, actually, don't you? I've met him. I've met him. What's yeah, he like? Yeah, of all the girls now, I mean, all the fellas are, you know, looking at you. <laughs> tell all the girls what Michael Jackson is really nice. like. He's really nice. He's cute. Yeah? Yeah, he's very cute. All right, actually, I believe, actually, I read in an article last week, that Michael Jackson actually said that Magic is his favourite song for 1980. How true is that? Well, he told me that he really loved it and that he loved John Farrow's work and I have to agree there, he's a genius. All right, now, listen, I come from Melbourne yeah. and I just don't want to sort of be like Melbourne pro, right? Oh, right but not. John Farrow, <laughs> your songwriter, comes from, from Melbourne, right? Yeah, he does. His mum yeah. and his brother and his nephews and everyone else are up there. You should be very proud of him. To John Farrow, who wrote half of Greece and certainly wrote most of your songs for, wrote, uh, for Xanadu, yeah, he Magic. Wrote, he wrote five of the tracks. Yeah. I think that deserves an applause. John Farrah. Hey! All right, back to Michael Jackson. Yeah.
We've got another little lady, and she's from uh, Tasmania. She's going to dance Michael Jackson. She's going to dance she to is, Michael Jackson. She is too. Okay. All right, do you want to intro? Yeah, here's Lorraine McKinnell from Tasmania, and she's going to dance to Michael Jackson's Working Day and Night. Good luck with Go, Lorraine. You. They do it. How do they do it? That was Lorraine from Tasmania. All right, look, when we uh, first sort of launched this contest, we said that you could dance to anything, right? And we said you could tap dance, roll a disco, uh, disco, uh, ballroom dancing, do anything, right? Well, there are two people that won the Queensland state final, and they have merged a 1980s ballroom sort of feel about an entire dance sequence, right? I think these two are really terrific. Their names are Jenny, and the other one's Chris. And here they are. Are you ready? They are, in fact, ready. Come on, give them a cheer, Queensland. Oh. So all you old ballroom dancers, have a look at this, because this is unbelievable. OK, Jenny Finwick and Chris Milburn, they're dancing to ELO's I'm Alive. Go. Oh.
Well, my goodness me. That was from Queensland. Uh, Bjorki watching that. I mean, that was Jenny and Chris. I mean, I don't know how Jenny gets up on Chris's shoulder like that. I'm lucky if I can get up here, let alone anywhere else. Anyhow, let's give him another cheer, Queensland. Oh. oh, this is all too much for me. OK, the last contestant for tonight, and he represents Western Australia. And we asked for something different, and we said, I said, you know, do roller disco, do tap dance, do anything you like, right? Well, this guy has combined a lot of them together. His name is Alain Labras, and has he done something different? Here is the guy from Western Australia, and he, I call him the Al Jolson of the 80s, Alain Labras. Let's go. Who? <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Elena Brass from Western Australia. I mean, how can you top it? I mean, like, each time they come back to me and all these people have done this, the judges are up there looking very stern and trying to work all of this out, right? All right. Now comes the second part of the show where the dancers can take a breather. The judges are up there going, mur, 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 like this sort of thing, working it all out. And the lady again is about to do another number, right? No, it's not that number, it's not from Greece, it's not from her old albums, it's the number that is number one in England this week, number one right throughout Europe, it is the hottest performer, even though Magic is number one in, in America, it is now the hottest single in America now, it's rushed up to number 29 with a bullet on the American charts, do I have to introduce the lady, here she is with the title track from the movie What It's All About, Miss Olivia Newton-John doing Xanadu, Miss Olivia Newton-John.
Ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Go on, take a bow. They're from me. Oh! And to think, and just to think. Now listen, oh, how do you reach that last note? How do you do anything? <laughs> when I think of it. Uh, it wasn't easy. <laughs> oh, you're beautiful. That's all I can say, she's beautiful. Listen, you've got to hold this envelope because now the judges have made up their minds, oh, right? Great. It's exciting. All right, and while, uh, while we're sort of all sort of here, you don't open it yet, right? We're just going to have a quick flashback, and it's called an instant replay, as the television people say, of all the state uh, finalists, and let's see how they fared, right? Here we go with an instant replay. Thanks, Ian. Our first contestants in the Countdown Xanadu National Dance Contest were from New South Wales, Jill Kerrigan and Terry Ada. The next contestant you saw was from Victoria, Nicholas Deary. Then we went down to Tassie for Sophie Hansis. Tapping her way through the dance contest was Victoria's Debbie Brown. Kim Moss and Mark Sharp from South Australia. From Launceston, Lorraine McKinnell. Next was Jenny Fenwick and Chris Milburn from Queensland. And the final contestant for the Countdown Xanadu National Dance Contest was from Western Australia, Elaine Labras. All right, I have the, uh, the two uh, envelopes here that have got the air tickets in it, right? And it says to whom it may concern. And before we actually open the envelope, and we've had a lot of applause tonight, and especially for Libby, I'd like to just applaud all of these people, because I think they've been amazing. I, I know how they feel. I know how they must be feeling, because I remember when I first... I, the first thing I ever did was win a talent contest. You did too, here yeah, in Melbourne. and it's pretty scary. I know how you feel. <laughs> and actually, John, if you're still watching over in Adelaide, eat your heart out. OK. Uh, now, listen, uh, do you want to open the envelope? I do, I All do. All right, here well, we I go. I think everybody... Everyone was fantastic, no matter who wins, but here goes. My hands are burning. Oh. I think we have a tie. Um... <laughs> The two winners, first of all, Alain Labras from Western Australia. <laughs> and wait for it. Actually, well, just 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 before you say it. Hold on. No, just, no, just before you say anything, I, just said in the I, nick of time. I have never seen a bird with a lipstick mark oh. on her cheek. What have you done to her? I'm sorry. Oh, anyhow, uh, the uh, second winner is... The second winner is... Nicholas Deary. <laughs> no, 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 shake my hand. All right. I don't know what to do now. Libby, listen, again, congratulations on Xanadu, and especially a number one in all those countries. You too, congratulations. Commiserations to all of you, but you've been fantastic. It's really time to say goodnight, Australia. There is no number one this week. The number one is simply Xanadu. Welcome to Xanadu. Have a great time. Keep on dancing. And it's Good night, Australia. Let's all go up and dance. Come on. Come on. <laughs>